welcome back to the channel growing colorist today we are diving into a question that every resolve user faces are you making the right choice between primary and log wheels these two may seem very similar but each other offers unique power when it comes to color grading by the end of this video i am believing that you will know exactly when to use each when it comes to this pro level results thank you and let us dive right in into the video you know basically if you are in davinci resolve and you are checking both of them you just be like you know they have almost the same options this is lift this is gamma and this is gain while offset that is here is the same offset that is here as well and then we have shadow we have mid-tone highlight all of them they've got this color wheel around them so how do they really work so we would not start with using an image for this tutorial we would use a grayscale you know image and we would see how far we can you know work with this to really explain it for us and um, i really hope this really helps someone out there you know when i wanted to grade i usually would just come to offset drag all of this to you know walk around it but it you don't have to be confused over it that is why we are using a grayscale image so let's start with the very first one which is primary color views so the first wheel that you are seeing here is for your lift and we'll be using our scopes to run through all of this so that we can understand how it works vetoscope may not be so important so we would use our histogram and we would use our parade and waveform you know to monitor this so first thing you would notice in this grayscale image is we've got shadow and then we've got a part that is really not so dark and but not as bright as this last part which is our highlight an image could be splitted into three parts you should always know this and that is your shadow your mid-tones and then your highlight your shadow is the darkest part of your image while your mid-tone while your highlight is the brightest part you know of your image let me go to my parade to explain this if i'm using if I'm bringing my mouse to check this part, you would see that it is pointing in my scope, in my parade. You know, it is pointing to the brightest part of the image. So this is your highlight, and um, these are your mid tones. You can see that it is in between. You know, it is not raised, but it is in this mid. It ranges from, depending on what you shot, it ranges from could be from even 768 to 3. 84 if you expose properly while your highlight ranges from you know 896 and upward so you would see that all these parts where my mid tones are and that is where your skin tones that is where you, whenever you are exposing you always want to ensure that your mid tones that is where your skin tone are going to be eating are properly exposed right so you can see and then if i should come here that is the darkest part of our image and that is where you called you know your shadows so don't forget shadows mid tones and then highlights so for me to control any part of my image that seems to be as the darkest part of the image basically what you are to use is lift and also you should know something that if you are using lift to control you know to make your primary adjustment to your image it means you should know that your lift and your gamma and your gain under your primary color wheels they are interwoven like they blend together so let me give you an example once i am adjusting this lift the impact is only strong the, the impact is stronger on my shadow as you can see right now but you would notice that it is affecting every other part basically what you would see or tutorials you might have seen is offset controls everything yes they are very right you can see how the offset is you know raising everything is washing everything out let me reset this let me come to my histogram you know so that we can use histogram chatter and you should know that these numbers that you have here on my scope they are all the same 
from 0 to 1023 under my histogram and if you should come to your parade it's the same thing but the graph was just plotted you know vertically horizontally just to get the difference but you see that this is also 0 to 123 and if you are shooting a project as well whereby you have an external monitor on your monitor you would always like i mean professional monitor you would usually would see usually would see this number showing you as well let me come to my uh let me come to my waveform as well you can see that it is still the same graph which is 0 to 23 so let me use waveform to adjust my to adjust any of this you can see that offset cues controls everything that you can see here that is the work of you know your offset offset controls everything that is your shadow your mid-tones and then your highlight while your lift only controls the shadow but once you should know that whatever you are doing in lift affects every other part of your image as well and that is the difference between your color your your primary your color wheels and your log wheels we are going to get there so you can see how it is affecting it so now you know if it were to be an image of course you will not be crushing it the way i am crushing it just to you know make you understand this so for my lift i am going to just draw this a uh, bit and if i feel like it is getting too dark i can easily just bring it up you can see what is happening in my scope and then my gamma you see that this basically was controlling the shadow i think we should also lay emphasis on that then look at my mid-tones it is the mid part of this bright part that is happening now can you see can you see and then you can look at my mid-tones as well and see you know what is happening then let us go to gain gain is your highlight which is the brightest part of your image can you see where where the change is reflecting basically so it is coming to this part that is where you you are seeing the impact you can see you can see how it's range down to my shadow and you know you can see you can see you can see that is just how all of these things work if i'm dragging my highlight you can see that it is my highlight that is coming down and then this mid tones and my shadow is now finding a way to blend in that's why i said that they are interwoven so always have that at the back of your mind whenever you are doing your color correction or you are doing your color grading so i would not reset this i would just create another node and then i would hide this particular node so that we can have a fresh you know node so now this will take us to our log wheel in my log wheel i want to control my shadow now and this one even has the name seeing the name might even want to get you into the into thinking that you know that is your shadow that is your mid-tones and this is your highlight but you know there is more to that i would say that personally log wheel is meant to delog in fact if it were to be if you were working on you know a black magic or a raw project actually you can just come here you can come to your um your raw information and you know it helps you to just be easily to manipulate all of these things so but right now under our log wheels once i pull my shadow but the difference the difference you should notice here is very very heavy so now see if once i am pulling my shadow down can you see that it is not dragging this this one has a curve whereby it is not pulling everything in like the way the shadow that we had in our primary wheel was working let me do that again so if i'm pulling my shadow it now has a the curve itself now has a stop whereby it is not pulling everything strongly as it was during the other project can you see that it's it's the way it spreads is is very very can you see it stops where your shadow graph is meant to stop you know it is just like having a, another point in your it is just like when you are working here and then you are keeping a point here and then you are raising this you know that's exactly what your shadow does for you if you are under your primary you know log wheels here 
you know and that's that's very interesting that means if you want to make a subtle change you know in your shadow it is preferable you come to your log wheel and then you do your adjustment there so i would reset this and that's the same way it works for your mid tone can you see the way it works can you see it is a, it is affecting them but it is not let me reset this compare it to what my gamma would do here can you see you know under if i'm to use this to explain to you again it is just like coming here to push this but meanwhile that is if you're pushing your mid tones but meanwhile if you are using your primary log wheels it will give you a point here automatically give you another point here automatically which means my shadow is preserved my highlight is preserved and this is just what i'm pushing you know that's just the way all of these things works of course we are going to use an image to analyze them later then um your highlight as well is for your brightest part of the image but it is just controlled you know maybe in a future video i'm going to come into you know our hdr that is going to help us to understand some things better so now let's go to an image and see what we how an image can help us to you know probably get this better and i will delete all of these notes that you know i'm presently having on this project all right so this is a new node and then i would reset this uh let's go to okay yeah i think let's let's work on let's take this image for our I want to control this part only i only need to come here and drag my gain or you know i come here and just make the sub to change change depending on be so i'll go under my shadow now it's down you can see you know i'm only pulling the shadows down let me reset this but if i'm coming to my offset and then i'm dragging look at the way the scope is working it's dragging everything down you know so i'll use my lift here and then uh maybe bring my highlight down a bit maybe bring down my maybe bring my highlight down a bit and then then my gamma which is the skin tone i can raise it up so i would reset it again log wheel my shadow i would can you see the subtle change that it is making because it is not affecting it so much it is not as strong as it, this this would only target that part and the adjustment is just going to be like like this let me put that stop here you know he, this is this is this is just like what we are seeing here histogram i'm putting a stop here somewhere around here and then i'm saying okay oh, pull this shadow only for me pull the shadow down can you see that the impact is just as the same thing as what i was doing when i was dragging my log wheel when i was under my log wheel let me uncheck this again and then i would do the same thing my shadow can you see can you see can you even see the way the histogram is is dragging all because a stop has been put around this ratio of 384 to only impact this area only your shadows area only without affecting any other part of your mid tones and your highlights so i hope this has been able to help someone let me know if you have further questions and like i said it helps log image a whole lot if you are working with a correct you know log information and you want to delog it you know just import your clip and preferably work here it will really help your you know workflow and it is just the same way like i said if i were to be here if i were to be in my primary wheels and then i am dragging my lift down can you see the transition can you see the way everything is flowing like a stream everything flows like a stream can you see if i'm increasing it can you see can you see so that is just the difference so when next you are making your adjustments you will just know oh this and this is what i am to do to get the right exposure and not to abuse you know my image
lest i forget i should mention that when you are making your subtle you know adjustments between your midtones you know and all of these things while you are trying to you know manipulate it don't forget that you can always enhance your options by your low range and then your high range your low range helps what is in your shadow whatever adjustment you have made in your shadow and you still want to you know work on it can you see so your low range and your high range really really helps them you know to get better i think as much as this sounds as a basic you know training but i hope it has been able to help you to you know know how to make the right decisions whenever you are doing your color you know correction and there you have it mastering the choice between primary and low wheels can truly make or break your grade remember each has its own strength primary wheels for broad adjustment and overall balance and log wheels for those finer targeted tweaks so next time you are working in davinci resolve ask yourself am i using the right tool for the job if this has clarified your choice hit like subscribe for more grading insights and happy grading and of course if you are new to this channel ensure you check out other videos i have in the page and if you are new to davinci resolve i will advise you watch these two videos showing presently on the channel